Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, Gemini, let's jump into this. Gemini, I hope that you have a really good week. Gemini, I'm hoping that prosperity, love, abundance finds you. And Gemini, thank you for being here. All right, let's get into it. Okay, okay. What's coming towards Gemini this week? What's coming towards Gemini this week? Coming towards Gemini this week. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. So, money, some wealth. Maybe even you could be paying off debts or really trying to get your affairs in order. There could be a balance between money going out, money coming in. Um, it's just some harmony here. It's not, you're not upset. There's not upsetment. Um, um, someone could also be sharing with you. Someone could give to you or you're giving to others. Uh, you, you could be doing one or more things to make money. You could have more than one stream of income here. Uh, maybe you could be, you know, getting dividends from investments or so forth or stocks or getting some payouts here. Someone also could be gifting you with something, giving you a gift. Someone also could be trying to show you how they feel by way of money and, and gifts and things spent, you know, money, time spent, maybe money spent. They also could have another position that they they hold too with someone else or doing something else. What's the advice for Gemini here? The star card could be dealing with an Aquarius. The advice is to heal. All that blue in that card. Make sure that you are um, definitely practicing some peace, some calm, some serenity, some healing. Get around good friends and trusted individuals. Um, talk it out with people who you, you trust their opinion. You trust their. Uh, you trust that they they want the best outcome for you and whatever it is you're doing, or whatever it is you inquire about. Also, it's talked about reconciliation, renewal, coming back together, getting on the right path here, with someone or without them or just in life in general talks about self-love too with that pink flamingo here um taking some time out for yourself making sure that you're getting the very best out of every situation or at least you're getting what you want also make sure you're practicing that healthy level of selfishness okay it says that your hopes and your dreams your wishes can come true this is the advice for you so this is a really good card to have all right, and the outcome here for you. What's the outcome for Gemini? What's the outcome? Okay. The Ace of Swords. So maybe um, you'll speak some truth. You, it's like you're seeing absolute, absolutely clear. 1,000% um, clarity coming to your mind, your mind space, to where maybe it, it can conflict with other people or maybe even a decision that you need to make. Maybe you, you just want to make sure that you're making the right decision in order to what you should be doing or where you should be spending your energy, your motivation. Because you want to make sure that you're not making a decision that will eventually lead you to a toxic, karmic, you know, bondage type world where you have to kind of find your way out of that. And you have to rework and work backwards. This could be about two different options, too, that you have. Maybe one is adventurous and fun, and it's a risk, and it's all of those things. And then the other one is kind of quiet, maybe a little mundane, maybe, maybe even boring. But these are two very real options. Also, it could be to be single or coupled or to play a part of something or be in something. This card, I will, oh, it talks about how people say this card specifically says the grass is always greener. Um, that's how somebody is feeling. Um, 
to move on. You're just saying, look, the grass is always greener because I'm there, because I'm going to be tending the grass, right? Um, so that's what you, you could be saying. Um, this could be about partnerships. Someone also could want to come back to you. They feel like you guys need to just understand what it is. Let bygones be bygones. It's better to be together than apart. Some union, some partnership here. The Ace of Swords says that maybe in the outcome, you're going to make some irrevocable change. You can see that here in the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, you can't go back after this. Maybe you'll say something that you know you can't come back from. You'll cut somebody out and cut them off to a place where you know there's no going back. Or maybe you'll choose to do something adventurous out going fun risky to where you know you can't really once again you can't turn back irrevocable change it talks about the ace of swords is um this is absolute divine clarity uh, maybe because some of you are going to practice sober living I don't know why that came up so now you're thinking your thought process is different Your mental capacity will be so clear and, and, and your words are so sharp and they're so cutting that, again, this could cause conflict with those that are around you because they're used to you being in a, maybe a clouded state of being or they're used to you being passive or they're used to you not saying anything. But now you see, now your eyes are open. What is this about? Yeah, welcoming the new... Also, self-employment is highlighted for you. Um, there could be a windfall. We talked about that at the beginning with the Six of Pentacles. Money coming in, very nice. Because of you, self, what you're doing. Self-employment is highlighted. Welcome the new here. There's something new for you. Um, what you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for could actually come in for you. This looks really good for you. Um... Yeah, this looks really good for you. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. If it resonates with you, tell me how it resonates for you down in the comments. How you are self-employed, okay? Um, thank you. Take care. Many blessings. All links are below. If you want to go over to the website, book your own reading there. Or if you want to take advantage of um, the text question, or you can text a question to the number below and pay for your question all on your mobile device. You, also, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Take care.